In the Warhammer universe, nothing epitomizes the adage, you are what you eat, like the race known as the Crute. Members of the Tau Alliance and supposedly proponents of the greater good, they are a bird-like, almost feral peoples that gain strength, knowledge, and even genetic traits of the sentient races they consume. So what happens when the Crute eat a Drukhari raiding force? Tau Nick has to bring a Farsight Smackdown on these rebels, that's what. This is 40k in 40 minutes, Greater Good Rebellion! Greetings 40k fans, welcome to this episode of 40k in 40 minutes, and today, longtime patron and all-around fantastic human, Scott DeWinner Wilkie brings his amazingly converted Crute Dark Eldar to the channel to face off against resident Guavesa Taunik and his forces of Farsight Enclaves, including the new Farsight model. The crew have betrayed the Tau? Well, it's time we put down this little rebellion. Nick's army consists of Commander Farsight, and of course, Commander Shasso Kickasso in an Enforcer battle suit, two Breacher teams and a Strike team, a squad of Crisis suits with Flamers, and a squad of Crisis suits with all the Burst Cannons, some Pathfinders, Vestment Stingwings, and a Riptide battle suit. Can people keep making fun of Tau jokes, fish jokes? They're gonna have fish for dinner. Well, today we're having chicken. It's chicken for dinner. That's what's on the plate today. That's what's on the menu. Hi, I'm Scott DeWinter Wilkie, and uh, I'm about to lead a Crew Rebellion to take down Taunik. Scott DeWinter Wilkie brings an Arx of Omen real space raiding force. He's got an Archon, a Homunculus, and a Succubus, two squads of Cabalite Warriors, each with a blaster, two squads of Rax with Electra Corrosive Whip on the Sergeants, and a squad of Witches, including a Shardet Impaler. He's got a big meat wall of grotesques, two Ravagers, and three Talos that should look to do a lot of heavy damage. He's also got a Raider and a Venom to tote his dudes around in. If I kill Shasso Kickasso, that'll be just like a, a cherry on top. Win or lose, watch out. <laughs> Today's mission is from the Tempest of War deck and we're playing Sweeping Engagement. The mission primary rule is claim the battlefield. Objectives are worth five points for holding one, controlling two for five more victory points, and you score two for each claimed objective they hold to a maximum of 15 per turn and 45 per game. To claim an objective, an infantry unit has to do so in their movement phase, and they'll keep it claimed until an opponent holds that objective at the end of any phase. Special mission rules today is Pall of Dread. There's nothing civil about war, so nobody's feeling particularly brave here. The insane bravery stratagem cannot be used this game. No insane bravery means people are running everywhere. I'm bringing the new Farsight model. It's beautiful, it's gorgeous. I just finished painting it last night at 1.30 a.m. just for you, just for all you watching. Pre-game, it looks like Scott's gonna spend one command point to put the Raider and the Witches with the Succubus in Screaming Jets. He's also plays his Archon in his Venom with a squad of Cabalites. He's gonna start the game with one command point. Nick puts the Vespa in Crisis Suits and Plunge from the Skies and Manta Strike, and that's gonna start him with three command points. The taco truck, it, are we having fish tacos tonight or chicken tacos tonight? Um, and then last but not least, Farsight himself with his new beautiful miniatures coming down. I love it. I absolutely love it. It's a huge glow up from the original and I can't wait to bring it in. So we're down here. The rebellion has started. Hopefully I can take care of these chickens on the board. All right, I want to go second. I also want to go second. Perfect. So <laughs> can't wait to lose this roll. Yeah, lose the roll. Oh, yeah! <laughs> I'm not liking higher numbers. All right, I'll go first. I'll take advantage of it. Well, Good luck, sir. Game, Nick. Let's do it. This episode is brought to you by our friends at Deadly Print Studios. Designers of 3D in-game effects from explosions and shield strikes to flame gouts and even muzzle flashes for your bolters, Deadly Print has everything you need to bring your battlefield to life. 
Whether you want just the STLs or pre-printed and ready to go, Deadly Print has got you covered. Nyx Army has a plethora of these effects all over it, and they have tons of options for all your needs. As always, check the link in the description below and make sure to tell them Play On sent you. My one plan here is I'm gonna take these red breachers and I'm gonna put them far off in this objective as a tempting target to try to lure them over here. A, that's gonna bring some units in range of my guns, and B, it's gonna keep them far away from my center line. Oh, uh, sorry, I have to choose my philosophy of war right at the beginning. Oh. And those of you who watched this channel before know exactly what I'm gonna pick. Monka! I don't choose any other. I like to be aggressive, I like high risk, high reward play, and that's what it's all about. Nick draws his three secondary objectives. Immediately spending one command point to drop Deploy Teleport Homers, draws Raise Banners to replace it, needs to do an action on a No Man's Land objective. He's also pulled behind enemy lines, and Overwhelming Firepower. He needs to kill three units in shooting. Boy, for a Tau army, that's gonna be tough, right? They're gonna do Raise Banners on this right here so that I can score some points. Nick raises a banner in no man's land, but crucially has claimed no objectives for his army, and that could bite him in the butt later. Those points are gonna come in handy. I've done what I can. I'm gonna try to kill one unit. Yep, let's see if I can do it. Marker lights go off, the cavalites are hit with one, and the grotesques are hit with a bunch. Like, five. Overkill much, Nick? There is not a lot of targets on this board right now. He's hitting really well. I'm gonna get a few shots on his grotesques. If I can take out those racks on the back, that'll clear up that entire side of the board and make it easy for me in turn two to bring in my reserves. So hey. I'm gonna do the heavy burst cannon. Yep. S heavy 16 shots into those cavalites. That sounds good. All of the 60s? Dumb. They're dead. Yeah! <laughs> those cavalites were also a distraction? If Nick shoots Cabalites, then he's not shooting valuable targets. I think the most important thing is the Pathfinders here. They're gonna fire all of the weapons I can see. They're gonna fire their rail rifles and their carbines right into that unit there. Okay. The rail rifles. Six pinball. Nope, not today. D3. Takes one damage and a mortal wound. And then some carbines. One more six, sorry. I'm um, good. You got it. Um, well, we're gonna go next with these crisis suits here. Yep. Leave it go. I got one. Six up. Nope. Five up, feel no pains. I uh, feel one of them. Oh, wow. Well done. All right, and then two shots from Farsight firing his plasmas. Ooh, that grotesque meat wall is sucking up fire. Man, I love these guys for that. Farsight finally kills a model. All right, I'm gonna spend one CP yep. for Relentless Fuselage. That Fire Warrior Strike Team is gonna be OP as heck here. Extra shots and armor penetration at this range. Woof, down to two CP. Kill them! So yeah. Sixes. One down and one at two. And that is the end of my shooting phase. I have All nothing right. left to do. Scott decides to make that the last time he's on the end of that, and he agents of Vex that for zero command points, a unique Cabal of the Black Heart strat, and that's gonna make Relentless Fusilade count as two the next time Nick wants to use it. No charges, fights, or morale necessary here. Nick scores five points for raised banners, has one ranged kill for overwhelming firepower, and as we head into Scott's turn one, it's five to nothing in favor of Nick. Both players have two command points. Scott's pulled deploy teleport homers. He's got to do an action in Nick's zone. That's going to be a command point down to two to draw a new order instead, and he gets area denial. Oof. To score that, he's gonna have to kill that Riptide in a single turn. Ouch! Scott's pulled behind enemy lines. He's gotta put two units into Nick's deployment zone. That could be difficult. And capture enemy outposts. He needs to take Nick's home objective. Wow! The draws were not good for him. He sits at two command points to Nick's three. Archon comes in and... Dun -na 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 -na. Dun -na 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 Goodbye to the towel. Smart move. The racks are claiming that center objective as well as his home objective. Aggressive plays can be dangerous, but I think he's got a good handle on it here. The question is going to be whether or not he can actually score with all these moves. 
So, oh, it's uh, a shooting phase now? Yeah. Excellent. Um, Beginning your shooting phase. I gotta do this now. Yes. Uh, Neuroweb System Jammer. I'm gonna spend one CP on it. Okay. Shooting phase now, and next gonna spend Neuroweb System Jammer to make those Talus minus one to shoot. It succeeds. He's down to two command points, and they're gonna be Ballistic Skill 5 instead of 4. I need my Riptide to hold on so I can use all those big guns to mow down some more Cabalites. Cabalite Warriors are going to put the uh, Blaster into our friend, the, yeah, the, the big Riptide. The big giant Riptide? Yeah. Bring it. So let's go ahead and try. I minus one to hit because of the fact that I have advanced with a assault weapon, and I don't hit. These are now going to put uh, their Heat Lances into the Riptide. Riptide. Looking for a three. I got it. I'm going to put it on this shielded missile drone right here. Yep. And I'm going to see if I can get a four pin vulnerable save yep. them. Which I did. It bounces off the shield. My Archon is going to shoot his blast pistol into your breachers, breachers there. Got it. Uh, hitting on a two. <laughs> oh, no. oh, reroll everything for hatred. You just rolled two ones in a row. Uh, from Empty Venom into the Pathfinders over there. Pathfinders. First a wound. Uh, so I'm going to do it on this guy that's in cover. Yep. So on a five. On a five. And okay. three, it was just two? Yep, I uh, would only three. Sorry, three. three saves. And the last one. Oh, okay, so you killed three guys. Okay. Blah, blah, blah. Two command points on Never Stationary now for Scott. The Talos are going to move up to an extra seven inches. They won't be able to charge, but they're in a really good position to just pound into Nick's lines next turn. The shooting of the Dark Lances. So I've got. Uh, you going to this guy? I am. Here we go, on threes. AP4. All right, so on the four up and vulnerable save on the drone. Oh, it goes through! Five damage. Five damage. This drone is utterly annihilated. The next Ravager. Please. So if I take it on this drone and he dies, yes. I basically give you five points. Correct. Or I start taking it on the Riptide and it's dangerous game. I'm going to take it on the drone. Ooh. High risk reward. Come on. First one. Oh, <laughs> he's dead. Drone is dead. And the other one. Okay, he's four up and saves, saves it. it. The Riptide saves yep. it. Uh, we're gonna do some charging now, I believe. Time for some charging? All yes. right, now be careful because I do have Overwatch. You do. Venom charges the Breachers. It's in! The Archon is in! The Cabalites burst through the destroyed walls and harass from the top row. They too are in. Uh, you do have enough to interrupt. I don't feel like I'm hey, super you, worried about are you, it. Are you feeling like <laughs> I'm gonna interrupt here? Why would I interrupt with these guys? Fours. As a result of our... That's a fair number. Six saves. Oh, the Cabalites have killed four of the squad, and the Archon kills the rest. Not a lot of scoring for Scott, though. Great position play, and he's definitely put pressure on Nick. The score's 5 nothing, and Scott has discarded area denial and capture enemy outpost. Man, oh man. Those are tough to get, but if he could get them, that really means he's putting pressure on Nick. Interesting choices here as we head into turn two. We'll see if I can survive this round of shooting. If I can... I think I've got a chance here. Nick scores 10 on primary to take him up to 15 points. He's got three command points to Scott's one. All right, he's come out to play. It's time for me to come out and play. Look at all these juicy targets. He's still got overwhelming firepower and behind enemy lines, and he's pulled hold the line. So he's got to clear Scott away from his deployment zone. That's not going to happen unless the dice go completely cuckoo bananas. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna see if I can advance these this, these breachers. If I can get a six on their advance roll, I can get into your deployment zone and get one unit from behind any lines. Watch out. But Rax I need a wet. six. Rax is wet, they're gonna slip. Come on! <laughs> oh, I got the six! Get yes! out of town! Oh, however, he's not gonna get wholly within, but he's deep in Scott's board half, and that could cause him problems. This is the hard choices you left me with here, sir. I'm glad, because it, it means that I'm doing something that makes you Makes you have to sweat at least a little bit. And then let's bring in some reserves. The Vespid and the Flamer Suits drop into Scott's back quarter. That looks pretty solid. It looks to be an attempt to overwhelm that flank, but that also puts two units wholly within Scott's deployment zone. All right, shooting phase. Yeah. Let's fire marker lights. Marker lights all over the place into the Talos and the Grotesques. All right, and then let's fire a Riptide. Riptide's gonna fire every gun it has at these Grotesques. Let's kill it. <laughs> uh, two plasma shots, hitting on threes. Yep. Uh, sixes. I got one. Oh, look at that. Looking for kill the pains. Uh, make one, so take two damage. All right, and then 16 shots. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Daka, daka, daka. <laughs> oh, they just went with it. 
Riptide blasting the Grotesques now, and Big Time Wound fails. The Grotesques are still up. Shasso's gonna go now. Yep. He's gonna split fire everything. He's gonna fire his Relic Flamer. Yep. Into this unit of Cabalites. Then he's gonna fire his Fusion Blaster at this Venom. Venom? Yep. And he's also gonna fire his Plasma at the Venom. And then Fusion hits. Yep. And five of involved. Nope. D6 plus two damage. Oh, come on. Can I reroll damage? I'm gonna use one command point to reroll damage because that was atrocious. All right, give me more damage, give me six. Four, five, six damage. Down to two command points, but that's enough to pop the Venom. It's into the Cabalite Warriors. Oh! <laughs> two damage each. Five Cabalites. Uh, well, three of them. Farsight's gonna fire his Plasma over here. Hitting on twos! Cherry here, no. Three damage. Bye! Let's go with these useless flamers. Yes, They're okay. so out of position where they need to be. This is not an optimal target, but it's the only target they have. They're gonna fire all these flamers they don't even into these either. Talos. Nine D6 plus two shots. Plus eight. 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54 shots for the flamers. That is so many shots. Why do they all get plus two? Are they, wait, Tau are chaos. It's confirmed, they have let the galaxy burn. <laughs> Another 25? Rolling this many dice is so much fun. But take 16 <laughs> damage from Flamers. You used to give you And uh, here we go. Two. One of these. All right, Ooh. let's do all those breachers that are in range of 14. Four ups. Oh, oh my no! gosh. Feel the pains? Don't like that. Um, four damage through. Did I kill one? Uh, you did. And, and then two damage on another. Two damage on the next. All right, let's go with all these uh, Pathfinders right now. Yep. They're gonna fire everything into those uh, those Talos Pain engines. Three Rail Rifles. Hits twice. Uh, does D3 plus a Mortal Wound. Does one damage and a Mortal Wound. Uh, if ignore one, take one. Down to four. Carbines. Five hits. Uh, make one save. How much damage? Just one. one. I save it. Last unit to fire right here is my Crisis Suits right yep. here. And they are going to Burst cannon into here. Yep. One plasma over here. Yep. Three meltas into here. And then two more plasmas into here. Okay. Uh, this unit's gonna fire its one plasma shot. It's one Cavalite Warrior if you can't pull it off. Hold! Hold the line! <laughs> Four rerolling ones. Hit. Oh, it's a two! I can reroll one failed wound roll per okay. unit, so we'll do that now. And it's a wound at minus four. So six up. Invol. Don't do it! Yeah! He's alive! <laughs> that Cabalite is still alive! <laughs> Nicely done. <laughs> Two plasmas into, into these Talos Pain engines. Yep. Hits twice. It's a pinball. And one of them's dead. And three Meltas into that last Talos Pain engine. Uh, Minus four. Sixes. That'll no be way! <laughs> Boxcars? <laughs> Boxcars, baby! <laughs> Oh, I, I needed no! one to survive to make this a game. That was here. really good. That was really good. That's the round for me for shooting. Okay. I still have one thing I'm gonna do. Fail a charge. I'm gonna charge ya! <laughs> Shasso, kick asso. <laughs> Shasso, kick asso, set to charge Archon Chicken Dance here, and he's in. All right, let's see how she rolls. You're gonna get pummeled by an Onager Gauntlets? We're let's gonna find the, out. Let's do the Relic Flamer first, so. It's on threes. Archon Chicken Dance fails a couple, down to a single wound. Now take four attacks from his Onager Gauntlet. Yep. On his two-up save, and down he goes. Oh no, Shasso has killed the Archon. I didn't like saying that. All right, so I've managed to kill the Archon. I've managed to almost kill all the Grotesques. I've managed to almost kill all the Taluses. I've managed to almost kill all the Racks. <sighs> a lot of almost here. So, and next turn two, and he still doesn't have three kills in shooting, but he has claimed an objective. Nick sits at 20 points to Scott's zero. He's got 10 primary, 10 secondary, two command points to Scott's single command point. Scott's turn two here and 14 primary points. That's what claiming objectives gets you, and he's closed to within six. Scott's new secondaries here. He's drawn no prisoners and grind them down, and he has behind enemy lines. This deck is not being very kind to me. Let's see if I can try and make something happen.
Interesting choice here. He's got multiple options for 9-inch charges, as well as a command point for a potential reroll. Scott's spending a command point here on Murderous Descent, and that's going to allow him to disembark the contents of the raider and spill them all out. So I made a mistake and left him a little space there for him to drop all of his guys. Careful with your measurements. You managed to just barely make it in there. Whoo, she tight. Um, That's scary. Yeah, I'm hoping so. Um, All right, do your shooting good. phase. Let's go for it. Uh, so I'm going to start off with, let's start off here because it's only really got one target. It's going to shoot into the suits. All right, fire away. Okay. Oh, 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 double ones. Uh, oh. Just still gutted. Uh, let's oh, that, go ahead. That, I'm sorry, those towels have not been doing well for you. Some dark lance shooting. If this Riptide dies here, then I can go ahead and start focusing fire on some of the other threats on the board. Dark lance from the Raiders strips five wounds off the Riptide. Red Ravager into Red Riptide. Yes, correct. Red Rover, Red Rover. We call uh, one reroll from Black Tide over, uh, and one into one, uh, and then th four ups. Got them both! Shield generators activate! That is tragic. Yeah. Uh, let's go ahead and try. The next uh, one? The Same next thing? one. Got it. Same thing. Oh boy. That's. Oh no. Scott Command rerolls to fail the wound, and he fails again. However, Nick's spending a command point and also fails. So two command points for Nick, none for Scott, but that Riptide is down to three wounds. That was seven Dark Lances. You really should have killed it. It really should be uh, dead. Yeah, um, unfortunately, not killing it means really bad things for me. So they're all going to shoot their pistols into, unfortunately I can't shoot back there, but into our squad over here of suits. Into the crisis suits? Yep. Fours, because poison. Yep. Same all. Okay, let's get to charging. I can get two units in his deployment zone, and I might end up being able to take him off of his home field objective, which unfortunately I dropped as a secondary, and I can take the only objective that he has claimed. Let's see what I can do. So, so you just need a nine inches to get through this building and hit these strike team. That's there you go. Ooh, that's bad. Which is going to Nick's strike team on his home objective, and they're in with 11. Boy, oh boy, if only he had capture enemy objective still. The Talos suck up the overwatch from the crisis suit. It's down to three wounds, but it's in. Okay, Talos is in, no more overwatch. Time for this succubus to shine. She gets in there, she has show stealer. That means I can fight and then consolidate out of combat and back into his deployment zone for behind enemy lines. Succubus as well. Uh, six inches won't do it. I didn't make the charge. <laughs> the racks hit those flamer suits, they too are in. I've got a lot of units that have hit the line now. I just need them to start punching through. If I get some work done here, I could actually maybe crawl my way back into this game. We'll see. He's got a bit of a lead here. Grotesque is uh, four attacks, and then he's got one extra from the uh, macro scalpel. So one grotesque to... is a lot, man. Yeah. Shasso kick asso loses his drones and takes a wound. Nick contemplating an interrupt. It's kind of fun. It's, it's too commanding. No, I'm not. Okay. All right, come on in, I'm not gonna bother. I could, it's so close. All right, cool. All right, all right, attack me. See if you can kill these crisis suits. Here we go, hitting on threes. Oh, oh no! Threes. Uh, so, on a six, the uh, marker drone saves himself, and he does just to add insult to injury. Okay, you take D3 mortal. Uh, it explodes, you take two D3 mortals. Oh, that's kind of fun. I mean, no at all, but. Ooh. Uh, so you take four mortal wounds. That was really rough. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's supposed to do things that hurt you. The Talos have failed a bit. All the drones are dead, and a suit is wounded, but still, a single Talos with exploding sixes and all the jazz, it should have done more work. With the uh, racks first. Into the flamer suits. Into the flamer suits. Threes into fours. Yep. Um, so on a six, the drone saves himself. He does not. Both drones are dead. And then the homunculus is going to start swinging. So he's got a whole bunch of different kinds of attacks. A lot. We're going to go through them one at a time here. So we're going to start <laughs> off with scissor hands. Edward scissor hands. That's so uh, fun. So we're going to do two attacks uh, hitting on uh, twos. Fours. So on fours with yep. the guy with the iridium armor. Oh. One wound left on the two up save guy. Homunculus tools here uh, hitting on twos. Poison. No minus, so a two up save. Got Good. Ichor Injector. It hits, you take a mortal wound. No, I don't want 
to! You killed the guy! I didn't. All right, can I hit you back now? Uh, no, not yet. Oh, you got more- Oh, right! You got all this fight here! Two for threes. Which is now, this is huge. They wiped that strike team. Oh, say. it's time for some slapback. All right, sadly. <laughs> sadly. All right, I want to do Shasso. Uh, no, I'm going to save Shasso for last. Yeah, he's, okay. He's, he's the main attraction here. Rule of cool. So let's do these crisis suits. Yep. They, they have a chance. It's they, they've been buffed a little bit. They have a chance. Let's see if I can do it. Fours? Uh, I do get to hit you on fours because of Farsight there. Yep. Just Winning on fives. We're rolling ones. Three ups. Uh, makes one. Uh, feel no pain. I make the feel no pain. All right, so I didn't do anything. That's okay. Yeah, there. That's at the yep. racks. Cup is five. And I wanted to do again. Six up in bowl. No. Did I kill one? You got one back. I just kill one. Yeah. Can I just say I appreciate another man of culture that makes <laughs> sound effects for his uh, for his miniatures? Undying noises. All right, let's do the main attraction. Shasso yep. into this ugly crew trader. Ooh. Well, do you want to get part. hit by the Onager Gauntlet first, or do you want to be flamed to death? Uh, let's take a little. Let's take a little heat first. All right. Uh, heat. If we're cooking chicken. Flamer. Let's cook chicken. Hitting uh, on threes. So I've got the six up. Involve? Nope. How much damage? Two damage. Uh, I feel one of them. And then the honor good gauntlet. Hits everything. Oof. Wounds on twos. Wounds everything at minus a billion. Sixes. Just a lot of them. Nope. None of them. This and if I fail... Oh, well, it's a yeah. lot of... And if I fail three, he's dead. He's dead. Punch! And a battle round two. That was a decent slap back from Scott. He's discarded, grind them down, and he's discarded behind enemy lines. End of the turn, we see a score of 20 to 14 in favor of Nick. Now... It's time for the pain. Nick ticks up to 30 points with 10 more on primary to make our score 30 to 14 at the start of turn three. And Nick draws Assassinate. He's got to kill a character, no retreat, no surrender. He can't fall back, fail morale, or leave an objective. That's going to be tough. He's still got two kills and overwhelming firepower, so I'm pretty sure he's going to score that this turn. So I'm starting my turn, and I've realized it's now turn three and I still haven't been able to kill three units with shooting with a Tau army. I've actually killed more units in close combat than I've done with shooting. Something's wrong there. In the command phase, the Riptide is gonna use one command point, going down to two for backup AI. He now fires at full ballistic skill. Oh. A three wound Riptide shooting like it hasn't been hurt. That's rough. Because I only have three wounds left, I'm not gonna be able to Nova Charge. Okay. So I don't, don't get the special abilities, but I'm just gonna, I'm gonna shoot it. It's gonna get me. He has nice line of sight to shoot this <laughs> stupid guy. <laughs> Dies! Move it face now, and it's all about lining up the big shots to kind of put a nail in this crew dark often. Yep, they're in range of their special gun to be able to shoot that succubus. That means Farsight is going to go hunting a homunculus. Two work lights into the Ravager over yep. here, and then into the Venom back there, and I got two into the Venom back there. That's right. Raider. Raider. Yep. Sorry, there's so many names. Raider, Ravager. It's all converted, so I get it. <laughs> Shooting phase. Yep. We're going to go with the these crisis suits. Mm -hmm. firing everything into close combat. Yes. Three Meltas. Six up. <laughs> nope. Yeah, D6 plus two damage. It does three, uh, four damage. Need to make two of these. Five ups. Here we go. I'd make two of these. Wow, we got, got one wound left. Now take three plasma shots to the face. Six is boxcars again. Nope. Oh, the Talos goes down to the crisis suits. Being able to shoot in melee is so good. All right, <laughs> and then all these breachers are gonna fire into the succubus here. Sure will. Breachers target that succubus now. Rutro, she's down to two wounds remaining. Pathfinders are gonna go. They're yep. gonna fire everything in these witches. Yep. Take three uh, rare so rifles. What do they hit on? Witches now. One command point. Lightning fast reactions. Uh, save one. One goes through. D three damage, and then a mortal wound on top of that. Okay. Two damage and a mortal wound. Okay, uh, so one's two dead. And carbines! We roll per unit. Uh, don't make the in ball, so another one down. Farsight is gonna shoot his uh, plasma into these witches. Mm -hmm. Two shots from his plasma. Minus one to hit. Three wounds. It hits. And two wounds and minus four. Uh, six up. Nope, both dead. Two more, two more witches dead. I got a few of them. Got a few of them. All right, and then I'm gonna fire six flamers into these four racks. Do you want me to roll it? Uh, yeah. T5, baby. You're a five. T5, and I got some feel no pains. Let's go. All right, let's do it. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. 10, <laughs> 15, 38 flamer shots. And then sixes into fives. Yeah, they're dead. Yeah. Super dead. Yeah. Riptide is going to fire everything into yep. this uh, Ravager. Yep. The ravishing looking Ravager. Heavy burst cannon. Capital to the Blackheart. So. 
Hey, not bad. Three of those. So two damage each. Uh, so we're down uh, six wounds. I'm at five. All right, and all that's left is Chasso, and he's gonna split fire everything. Split fire? No way. Oh, yeah, it's all good. <laughs> he's gonna fire a flamer. One yep. flamer into this stupid single Cabalite to take this objective away from you. I'm gonna fire the plasma and the fusion into this Ravager. The yes. unwounded one, because I believe that I can kill this one in close combat. Flamer into the one Cabalite. Toughness three. Five up in vols. Here we go, baby. He's dead. <laughs> Looks like we're having chicken tonight, boys. <laughs> then Chess was gonna fire his fusion blaster into this blue Ravager. Five up in bowl. Oh! Then Plasma. That's a hit. Five up in bowl. Nope. Three damage. Three, three damage. Uh, down to eight. I still don't have overwhelming firepower. I'm a Tau army. I specialize in shooting. Why don't I have this yet? All right, we're gonna go to the, we're going to the charge phase, and yep. I'm gonna do something incredibly dumb. I'm gonna take Chess with Kikasso, and I'm just gonna go. Whole hog. Let's go see if I can kill both of those Ravagers with one round of combat. Okay, the just smart, to try and flex, the smart, hey? play, <laughs> the smart play is, char is charged one of them. Let's do it. Oh yeah, yeah eight inches. In. Shasso is going for both Ravagers here. Talk about no guts, no glory. Farsight charges the homunculus. Let's fight. Let's fight. So let's do Farsight first. Yep. Uh, hitting on twos. Yeah. Six up in both. Uh, none none Three, of them. Three, six, nine. Well, 12 of them. Let's just go ahead and do this and see if I fail. Whoa, okay. okay. Just kidding. Not uh, bad. Okay. One Whoa, second. look at those field of pains. Uh, I do. Well done, sir. Uh, so he's alive. With one wound. With one wound. Oh, the homunculus lives. So this is what we're going to do. Yep. We're going to split his attacks roughly evenly. Yep. Thermoneutronic flamer projector and going to the red red dinosaur. Yep. Then he's going to take his honor gauntlet and he's going to bash that blue dinosaur in the face. That's and if all goes well, I'm gonna kill both at once. Thermoneutronic projector. Dots hitting on threes. Fives to wound. None so far, getting your reroll. This may have failed. None! Oh, oh I got greedy. And then his um, Otter Gauntlet attacks yep. into the blue one. Wounding. Oh! <laughs> Wounds you only twice. Uh, minus? I actually can't kill it. Five ups. No, I've missed both. All right, but six, six damage. damage. I'm down to two. See, this would have killed the red one. Ooh, greedy split fire. Nick has failed to kill the Ravager. What do we say, Nick? What do we say? All right, it wasn't smart. I didn't kill either. I probably could have killed one, but it was cool. So I'm gonna fight into the crisis suits. Hopefully I can kill them before oh, yeah, they swing you, you back. Oh yeah, you can do this. Scissor hands, four. So on a six, I got it! <laughs> and on twos. Same both. Yeah. Uh, you take a mortal, oh no, you take two mortal wounds because it's exploded. Okay. One crisis suit, let's say the one touching you has two yep. wounds left. Okay. All right, those crisis suits are gonna see if they can take you down. Hitting on fives. When you're on fo uh, fours. One wound, that's all I need, fail it! I think oh. that- <laughs> The Ravagers actually take a wound off Shasso. I didn't actually score many points this round. I did some damage, not enough. If Scott has a good secondary draw, he could actually come ahead here. And in next turn three, he's got 35 points. He scored overwhelming firepower. No retreat, no surrender is ongoing. He sits at two command points still. Scott is out. But as we head into Scott's turn three, we've got a real tight one here, folks. 35, 26 in favor of Nick as we start Scott's turn three. Scott's pull the assassinate. He's got to kill a character. Well, there's a plethora of them on the table. And secure no man's land. He's got to hold objectives in no man's land. If I play this right, I can make a big comeback here. Maybe even turn this game around. Scott's using cruel deception here to fall back his Ravager to steal an objective and still be able to shoot for one command point. He's out. Cruelly deceive you into thinking you could have killed This my is dinosaur. a cruel deception. I thought I was doing such a cool move. Come on, <laughs> we could have had an awesome fight together, but no, running away with the dinosaur is cooler. <laughs> Okay, so he's gonna go walking through the wall. Okay, as you do that, I'm gonna do, um, I'm gonna do strike them down. <laughs> yep. Nick tries cut them down on that homunculus as he falls back to try to do some mortal wounds to him as he gets away, but it fails. Nick's down to two command points. Let's go ahead and do some shooting. Raider at 
the Riptide. Riptide. See if you can kill the Riptide. <laughs> Not when you roll that. I get one reroll. Ouch. Hit on fours. Uh, oh, so this is gonna fire into the Riptide now. Yes. All right. Uh, hitting on fours with a reroll. Uh, okay, and then. Uh, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Two wounds. <laughs> Uh, I need Let's four see. ups to save it. He's he's dead if I don't save both of these. Give me the first one! It's a oh save! My second gosh. one is a... Oh. the boxcars! <laughs> yes! It's okay. We can deal with this, right? Just okay. when I needed it. Clutch. Uh, <laughs> this is going to go ahead and... Uh, shoot into combat. Shoot into combat. Yeah. Four up and vulnerable! Oh, no. Command point for that one. <laughs> yeah. That one I need to save his life. Command <laughs> point! Yes! You're there. I'm going to go ahead and shoot Crisis Suits with my blast pistol. From the homunculus? Not when you roll like that. Oh, my. Oh, my. Uh, here we go. Uh, I'm having to charge already. That's not where I thought I'd have to be charge already. Charge phase. But, uh, charge phase now, and the racks are in. Are you sure you want to charge, Shasso? You know what happens if you fail here, right? Raider charging the breachers and the suits. All right, okay. now, are your witches going to charge with breachers? They are, because I think I have to if I want to try and you steal that objective, objective for yeah, you. Yeah, okay, I'm going to spend my last man point. That makes sense. Overwatch there. Witches get Overwatch, and down go two of them. Uh, we're in there, though, with a nine-inch charge, which is important, because I want to get all the way. So uh, let's go ahead and start off with the racks here. Racks so, here into Chasso. Into Chasso. Fours. AP1 is on a three up. I, oh, I didn't save oh, that one. Oh, okay. Down to four wounds. You might do it. I saved them all. Stonewall Jackson yes! over there. All right. Uh, and then these next ones on twos, exploding sixes. I have to make at least one of these or he's dead on four ups. I saved two of them. He's got two wounds remaining. Oh, he's no. Alive. Tragic. Oh, you shouldn't have messed with Shasso. Uh, Sucky misses into the suits. Hitting on twos, threes. You got okay, the... so on a four up and vulnerable, don't, don't pass. Two damage. Uh, two damage, uh, kills Borkan Otano is dead. This is a named character for one of our patrons. Oh, and then this one is AP five for two. Cool. Um, that goes right through. No involves allowed, and then that's, so that goes through, and then you've got four mortal wounds. So how many wounds in total? Uh, so you've got six more wounds coming in. So six wounds, so you've killed a guy and two wounds on the last. That's what it looks like. So we've got one guy with two wounds remaining. Uh, I'll use Showstealer Bounce to go back just right here. Just hug my friend. Everything into the last two. Uh, so here we go, just wanna hit. Threes. The AP2 on a five. Nope, and the AP1s just killed him. Just killed him. Just barely. Dino bite. Chomp, um, chomp. Nom, 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 nom. Ah, nom, 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 All right, now the real test. Can these three remaining witches kill all of those breachers? So the four attacks from the Chardonnay Impaler uh, hitting on twos. So two go right through, and the AP2 does not save. So you killed three guys. Okay, and then I've got hitting on twos, re-rolling ones. All right, on sixes, and then on fives. They've left only one. Um, okay, so Shaft is gonna now, right before your Ravager goes, and he's gonna put all of his Honor Gauntlets into the Ravager. He's gonna do his Flamer into those little racks, and hopefully wipe out both this time. Nick Split Fire. Classic. I hope he pays for it. <laughs> racks first. <laughs> all right, so Flamer. Okay. Fixes. Uh, get one saved, so four dead. Into the Dino Ravager. And I wound you. I save one. <laughs> Does it explode? Oh, <laughs> that, would been, that would be really fun. Everything would die there. It would be so yes. great. Boom. Yoshi noise. You've killed so much in close combat with, <laughs> with uh, this Shasso Kickasso. Oh, he's done so good. Uh, and then I believe you have one man here left to fight sure. back. Let's see how he does. He hits you. Oh my gosh. He, he wounds you. Me. Uh, four, I sure hope I kill I one. I have four pinball in close combat. I, I kill one. <laughs> Boom! Uh, oh yeah, Rats that rock can, chest. That can, yep. rock can run away. Bye. He runs away. All right, do, this, do the witches fail on a six? <sighs> oh, does the preacher run away? He does. Preacher's gone, runs away. Ah, run that's away. so scary. Oh my God, he ran? That not only gets me the objective, but it also costs him his secondary. 
Oh, that couldn't go better for me. The end of battle round three, we have a score of 35 for Nick to 36 for Scott to win a Wilkie and his crew tar. He has pulled ahead, ladies and gentlemen. Is this the beginning of the comeback? Turn four, Nick goes up to 45 points after scoring 10 more on primary. He's pulled Storm Hostile Objective. He's going to flip an objective that Scott owns, assassinate, kill a character, and he spent Bring It Down as well. The most wounds on the table is actually going to be one of those Ravagers. Command phase, there really is no command phase things to do. Um, I'm going to spend my one command point that I get to make my Riptide fight at full ballistic skill. One command point again on backup AI to take him down to one, and that Riptide at three wounds will operate at full efficiency. Vespid claim the center objective in case it all goes as wrong as Scott's last shooting phase. Chasso went to the tail of the Ravager. Is gonna, he's gonna pick up the tail and like do one of these kind of movements and the Bowser. Shooting phase, yep. let's have some fun. Yep. First side is gonna fire two plasma shots into these two racks. Yep. Hitting on twos, hits them both. Yep. Wounds them both at minus four. It is, uh, if I make one, I miss one. Uh, Riptide's gonna go now, and yep. Riptide's gonna fire um, his big gun into the yep. Raider, and he's gonna fire his plasma into... Witch. Yeah. Kill the witch. Hits you once. Okay. Six. No. Oh, come oh, no, five. On. It is a five because yeah, we're on this. It. Woo! You get it. <laughs> and then 12 shots into the Raider. Yep. From the Riptide. Five of bin balls. Uh, that's gonna be eight damage, taking me to two. Flamer suits melt that homunculus, and that's gonna score him assassination. Barbecue chicken. <laughs> oh, that's that's a that's a there's some that's, Cajun chicken right there going on. <laughs> okay, Sasha's gonna actually fire his plasma way over here and yep. try to, and everything else going to the t uh, the, the dinosaur. into the raider into the raider hits wounds at minus four. Scott rerolls to save the ravager and no joy. That's a bring it down points. Then uh, Shasta is gonna fire the remaining shots, of course, yep. into this dinosaur in front of him. A fusion blaster. It misses. I get a reroll. Fails though. It hits. And it wounds at minus four. I fail my invul. D6 plus two damage. Four, five, six damage. Does oh, it explode? <laughs> no, it does not. All right, you, you do it. Yeah. It's your model. <laughs> that was turkey. <laughs> Little plumper. Okay, I have one charge to make. You do. It's nine inches away? Yeah, about so. Yep. Nine inches away. And you know what? I'm gonna use the dice that you gave me <laughs> in this game. You were nice enough to say, here's some dice for my opponent. I was like, that's nice. So let's use them to kill you. <laughs> They're even red and shiny. They're even red and shiny. Can I get a nine on two dice? Oh. I, don't know, I don't know, you can have these dice back. <laughs> <laughs> I don't make it in. I don't have command points for it. I can't do anything else. I think the writing's on the wall, but Scott, come at me. Let's give it one more chance. Farsight versus Succubus. Bring it on. I can't win this game. You've got too big of a points lead. Yeah, I think and, I got you. And I have two models remaining. That's true. But you want to know what those two models are going to do? They're going to assassinate. <laughs> they are going to try and take Farsight. This new beautiful Farsight model you have here, they're going to take it, bury it in the dirt. Bring it on. <laughs> With the Dancer's Edge Relic that she's going to use, uh, sixes to hit cost two mortal wounds automatically. So any of those right now, and I got my assassinate. Uh, after that, I'm sure it'll be gunned down, but we're gonna take uh, take Farsight out with you us. You can't take down Farsight. Farsight ah! is an idea, not a man. Well, take that ideas. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that means two mortal wounds. Oh, that kills him. That's it. That's so the game. That's my assassination. I'm fairly certain right well after done, that, sir. you table me, sir. Well done. It's been such a pleasure. Thank you for having me here. It's been a blast. That's going to make your final score, folks, 82 to 58 in favor of this episode's victor, Tau Nick. Dice tell stories, and the story today was Riptides on Three Wounds are Gross. What an absolutely fantastic game. Thank you both, gentlemen, for a beautifully played, well-executed Tau on Tau action. You know, those in the Imperium would say anytime Xenos are killing each other, it's a good thing. But I got to say, this was a ton of fun to watch. Thank you so much for joining us, and hey, if you like what we do, make sure to check us out over on Patreon, or even subscribe to our YouTube channel. We've got tons of background stuff, behind the scenes, you name it, you want it, you got it, we have it, so check us out. 
On behalf of everyone here at Play On, this is JT McDowell saying, until the next time we see you in the far-flung future of a grim dark universe, play on. It's been a dream of mine to be able to come in here and play on, uh, play on tabletop. So thank you so much for having me. Scott, thank you for uh, coming down and playing with us. Thank you for bringing this amazingly converted army. It was a joy to behold, a joy to play against, and I hope we get to see him many more times on the channel. Sorry to let JT down. Ugh.